Hello guys, this is Engineer Leo Ramos of College of Engineering and Computer Technology of Wesleyan University, Philippines. Today, we're going to discuss a series of communication systems, laboratories, and experiments. Hello guys, so for the third experiment, we need to study the effect of noise. So what is noise? So noise affects the communication system, especially at the receiver circuits. And let us see what is the effect of noise on both high frequencies and low frequency. So what would be the effect of this noise on the low frequency signal, such as the modulating signal, and the high frequency signal, which is the carrier signals. So in order to perform this experiment, this is a typical setup for our laboratory. So we have again the oscilloscope and again we have our Di Lorenzo TL3155M60 modules. We're going to utilize our F modules and our M modules again. So from the last time of the experiment, we do uh, get the behavior of the two modules. Let us study first the effect of noise at the low frequency signals. Okay, we have this module again, our Dindoretto trainer, and we need to power on our trainer. And using our F module again, we're going to verify the behavior of our signals. Again, put the ground on this port and our channel 1 of our oscilloscope will be connected to the output. Observe what will happen at the oscilloscope waveform. So that is the typical views of our scope but if we do auto selections on this knob so we can have that behavior. So as you can see, our signals using channel 1 is 5.82 volts at the frequency of 4.69 kilohertz. So this is considered to be a low frequency signal. Okay, so that noise or that signal will be uh, added by some sort of noise also again on these modules. So we will put some noise using our module view on this Di Lorenzo trainer which states that this is a noise generator. So what would be the effect of noise if we added into a low frequency signals like 4.67 kilohertz? So let us see. So using channel 2 of our oscilloscope, on this case, I will make another connecting wires or jumper wires from the output of our module F into an input of module Q. So meaning to say we're going to add output signals of module F into an input signals of our noise. So I will put the output here okay, with the same channel 1 at the oscilloscope. I will put this into the input of our module Q, which is the noise generator, or the noise generator. And observe what will happen if I'm going to take the output of our signals now with noise at the output of module Q. Okay. So we will observe what will happen. So this is the channel 2 of our oscilloscope and we'll put this at the output of our module Q. Observe what will happen on the oscilloscope. Okay, we cannot see the waveform, but if we do, pressing the auto selections, we can now view the effect of the original signals with noise. 
As you can see, this is the original 4.72 kHz signals without noise. But if we added some noise, so that would be the effect of the noise into a these low frequency signals. Because low frequency signals are easily affected by noise, such as our voice. Our voice is at 4 kHz fan width. So it can be easily affected by noise. That's why we need to modulate the signals. For the second portion of this experiment, we are going to observe now the effect of noise at high frequency, which is the effect of noise at the carrier frequency. Using the same setup on this particular equipment and modules, we're going now to utilize our module M. Instead of module F, now we're going to go at module M, which is the carrier generator. So same with the setup that we used a while ago, we're going to put our channel 1 of the oscilloscope into the output of module M, which is the carrier frequency, and we'll observe what would happen. Again, using this auto selection setup, we can view our carrier frequency. So how are we know that the frequency now is a carrier frequency? As I've said, a carrier frequency is a frequency that is higher frequency. So in this case, our channel 1 detect that is 307.13 kHz. So as compared to the 4 kHz, it is very uh, uh, high as compared to that modulated frequency. So this is considered to be a carrier frequency. Okay, having an amplitude of 3.8 volts. So that is our signal or the carrier signals without a noise. So what will happen now if we added noise on these high frequency signals? So let us see. Same procedure, we need again our channel 2 on our oscilloscope. The output of our module M will be now input at the module Q. Okay. So the input module Q is now the input noise. Okay. So I will now put the output of the module M to the input of module Q, which is the noise generator. And using our channel 2 of the oscilloscope, we're going to verify or observe what would be the effect of this noise when it is added to the high frequency. Again, with the use of this auto selection at this oscilloscope button, we can now see the behavior of the noise in terms of high frequency signals. Okay, as you can see, the effect of noise is minimal in terms of uh, high frequency. Okay, so these signals is some kind similar to the carrier frequency. Uh, let us have this uh, post our signal to verify the variation. So let us uh, turn on the run stop button to verify the result. Okay, so this is our original carrier frequency having a 307 kilohertz. And now this is our signals after adding a noise. Based on the two experiments or the two procedures, we can say that the effect of noise is lesser at high frequency and it is severe at low frequency. That's why we need to modulate the low frequency signals such as our voice into high frequency signals. So that will be discussed on the next activity series. For more videos regarding communication system, please like, share, and subscribe this channel.